Welcome to LSU's Tiger Stadium After Dark, an environment unlike any other in sports. Very intimidating for visitors. As they say, this is where visitors' dreams come to die. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. As we'll see the number 15 team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on the ninth-ranked team, the LSU Tigers. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Street. Now that we've talked long enough, Kirk, let's get this game going. Getting set to kick the ball off now. And he takes this from inside the five. The returner is brought down. It's a start with the next drive. So Alabama's offense begins this game backed up. That was not a good return. Here we go, Kirk. All the emotion in this stadium. Which side is going to handle that better today? Chris, we had a chance to visit both these teams. And one of the things that we saw, the clocks ticking down all year for this. Wow, taking a shot on the very first play. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Strong game by this quarterback. What a way to start this game. This quarterback saw a matchup that he liked. He had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. He takes it, and there's the accuracy and the arm strength we've talked about with this quarterback. Full display here on the opening play for a touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7-0 to open the scoring. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. They'll return it from inside the five. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. So the LSU Tigers offense makes their way onto the field for their first possession. This wide receiver, Kirk, is so dynamic. He puts a lot of pressure on the corners. And frankly, the safeties are going to have to get involved in coverage today, right? Yeah, the free safety is going to be tempted here to make plays. But this quarterback has a favorite target. He comes up with most of the 50-50 balls. Expect to see plenty of double coverage and help from this free safety today. Well, it's great to see this quarterback from LSU make that throw and put it right on the money to pick up that first down. And I think that's the big thing that LSU fans want to see is consistency from the quarterback position. There have been moments where you've seen that. There have been other moments where they've been asking for more out of their quarterback. So you had the Burrow moment in 2019 that was historic, one of the best we've ever seen in the sport. But now you want to see throws like this and be a great complement to that running game. And then you become a complete package and a real threat in the SEC. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Quarterback will throw this out of the RPO. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. This defense has got to be aware of these quick throws to these wide receivers. They're lucky he didn't come up with more yards. LSU getting set with a first and ten now. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. Makes a quick catch. We see this all over the country now in college football. Defensive backs staying back a little bit deeper, forcing the quarterback to have to throw things in front. I like the decision here by the quarterback because he gets positive yards. It's a good way of staying ahead of the chains. Second down after that completion. They'll run it here. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. Chris, I know we think about LSU. We go back to 2019. Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson. That dynamic offense. But at the end of the day, it's still LSU. It's still the SEC. 
and ground and pound is something they will never move away from. Great job here, and move the sticks. And they'll go right back to him on first down. Great move there. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. Just a small game. Look at it, second and nine. Well, Kirk, you played in rivalry games. No shortage of inspiration, but how do you manage the emotion of it all? Well, I think you need great leadership from the team. Sometimes teams don't handle the emotions of it, and the game can get sideways on you. The teams that play the best in rivalry games are the teams that have the best leaders to keep them focused on the task at hand. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Clock way downfield for a huge game. Well, it's really a pretty simple thing here by this quarterback. He sees press man on the outside, so he sends his receiver on a go route, and he hits him in perfect stride for a nice game downfield. And to be honest, Chris, this is a matchup I'm sure he's going to be looking for as often as he can today. First and goal, a great chance to answer that opening touchdown. And they're trying to punch it in here. Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown by you Bengals. Kirk, they were backed up to start the drive, but some bold play calling, great execution, and they reach the end zone. You know, it's easy to just kind of pull your horns in and get conservative when you're pushed way back close to your own goal line, but not this offense. They came out, showed the confidence that they have in their quarterback, and it paid off. Nice touchdown. And they'll set up now for the extra point drop. And he knocks it right through. Just kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Returner trying to create good field position. And the coverage team able to bring him down. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. Last time out, a one-play touchdown drive through the air. Can they keep it going here? Dropping back. It's Milrow. Hit just as he throws the ball. Oh, that one's picked off. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. Chris, I think I can hear him calling out blocks after that pick. Or was it the defensive coordinator next door up here in the booth? Either way, they were looking to score after coming up with that interception. The offense, if they did anything right, it was keeping them out of the end zone. And the offense trots back out on the field again. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. Looking to the end zone, and it's incomplete. What a chance for an interception there. Instead, brings up second down. Boy, not only did they drop what looked like an interception in their own end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum in their favor. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. Going to pick up the third and short through the air. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So on fourth down, they will settle for a field goal attempt. They'll set up for the chip shot on the left hash mark. And this one is right through. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after the field 
goal. The kicker out there again to boot it away. The Turner choosing to field this one. And the return will be brought down. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. And the last possession ended quickly. The interception on the first play. Let's see if they can do better here. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Chris, I don't know. There's just something about that Bama uniform. When they run the football, it just feels right. It's a combination of having those big offensive linemen, a really physical approach at the line of scrimmage, and backs that are able to pick up first downs like that right there. Beautiful play. And at first down, they go right back to him. That's a solid gain. Moves the ball to the 29. Are we going to see a repeat? Remember, last time these teams played, it got ugly. Chris, that's one of those games you just hate to see in a rivalry game when it gets so one-sided. Hoping today to see this defense play much better. Important second down play coming up. Now, to play fake, he'll look to throw it. A short completion of the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Good job of reading the blitz here by the quarterback. And it doesn't matter where it's coming from. The tight end knows that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an outlet. Anytime you see that kind of pressure, those extra bodies are starting to come after the quarterback. The quarterback's going to turn and get the ball out of his hands quickly, this time to the tight end for the first down. Takes a shot as he gets the pass off. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. You know, the game often comes down to a play or two, and the offense just missed a huge opportunity for a big play. Going to have to make some adjustments there and maybe go back to that play and see if they can come up with a big opportunity. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. Running back grabs it on a screen. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. Screen plays are risky because the defense can get to the quarterback and it also can be covered. Many times, the quarterback just throws it away. Here they get some positive yards. Offense facing a third and short from the 41, and they make the first down and avoid a tricky fourth down decision. Short throw to the sideline, forced out after just a short game. Well, this is a great catch. He does a nice job of getting his feet down to set up a fourth down and short situation. But, man, I just don't know why he didn't try to fight to get to that marker and pick up a first down. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. Ball lands right at the one-yard line and bounces into the end zone for a touchback. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. Kept out of the end zone last time, had to settle for a short field goal. Can they improve upon that here? And that pass is all in over the middle. Solid gain there, moves the ball out to the 32. It was a great completion here. Quarterback puts this ball on the money. And, and, and when you talk about LSU and you talk about the history, it's easy to bring up Joe Burrow in 2019, but Chris, you've been following this as long as I have. You know that when LSU is really dangerous, they get consistent play from the quarterback. Doesn't have to be Burrow, but just a guy that can be efficient, be a good... And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. That's a short return, but the pick wipes out a scoring threat and sets up the offense at the 33. Well, the quarterback ends up being a tad aggressive and he ends up paying for it with a pick. I get that that might be part of his playing style, but there's a difference between being aggressive and being careless. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. Can they finally get things going this time? Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. Well, they're going to go with a play fake here. The only problem is no one on the defense bit at all on the play action. The results are a big sack for this defense. See if they can overcome the sack. Second and very long. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. 
And they'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. Looking to throw. It's Milrow. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. Out comes the field goal team to give it a shot. This is a long way out. What a kick. It's good from 57. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And they've got the returner corralled. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. Grab down the middle. It's Lacey. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Any good offense has to have a reliable, quick to intermediate passing game. Even though that wasn't enough for the first down, it's plays like this that help you sustain drives and not get stuck with third down and long. Play action fake, looking to throw. Snags with the throw. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. Anytime you have a chance to get this wide receiver isolated, to get the ball in his hands, you do it. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Scanning the field. It's Nussmeyer. So it's incomplete. He caught the ball, but they rule him out of bounds. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find a rhythm. Incompletion sets up a second down. It's a draw to the back. But only a one-yard gain, so it's third and nine coming up. You know, in that era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of the defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. That's caught. It's Lacey. He stopped up at the 45, but that's good for a first down. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback. And especially on third down, get him the ball. Quick pass, the catch is made. They bring it down, but the game moves the ball into enemy territory at the 43. You know, we talked this week with the offense coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Well, if you're going to run the read option, you're going to have to keep your eye on that defensive end. If he collapses down inside to the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself as a quarterback to the outside. Now, if he stays outside, you're going to go ahead and leave it in the running back's belly. In this case, he pulled it and got some good yards himself. Hot over the middle. It's Lacey. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Boy, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. LSU getting set with a first and ten coming up.
Dropping back. It's Nussmeyer. Fires it to the wide out. He's got it near the end zone. And he will score. Touchdown, Tigers. Just give this guy the ball and let him do the rest. The quarterback does a nice job of just putting the ball in the receiver's hands, and then he uses his legs with the run after the catch for the touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And after the extra point, it's a 17-10 lead. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And here's the return from inside the five. It'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Offense out there for the first play of this drive from the 18. They're going to run it. Defense makes the tackle with the clock running. That'll probably be the final play of this first quarter. We've got an exciting quarterback duel in the making here as we check the first quarter stats. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. Second down after that run on the previous play. It's a run. Running back's got it. That game moves the ball out over the 25. Well, I feel like they called that knowing. Chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. Crucial third down play coming up. To throw, it's Milrow. QB to the tight end for a completion. Brought down at the 33. That's good enough to move the sticks. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Looking to throw it deep. And that deep shot is caught for a big game. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Bama. So we're all tied up after that one, Kirk. A potential shootout on our hands here. And the offense does their job and ties this thing up. Now the pressure switches to the other side for an answer. Now the all-important extra point. And the PAT is good. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Bringing it out, it's Williams. Tackled at the 14, not very good field position to start here. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. Passing game was so effective in the last position, right down for a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can make adjustments. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. Man, the defense was all over that play. Just left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. So it's second down and long here from the 13. To throw, it's Nussmeyer. And the receiver snags it, it's complete. Defense wraps him up after the catch, but he's just short of the first down. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw, and he put it on target. 
Offense moving closer to the line again after that catch. And they pick up the first on the ground. And they'll stop him just short of the marker. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. Offense facing fourth down. Punt team ready to boot it away. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Now it's second down here. Catch made over the middle. He has first down yardage at the 46. That's an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding that window between the zones and delivering the ball on time. You set it down to the offense, first and 10. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. Second down now after the sack. There's the handoff. Solid run, tackled with the 45-yard line. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. And he's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Challenging spot for the offense. It's third down and long from the 45. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. Lofting it toward the left sideline. He's got him on the left side for a big game. The tackle is made, but the offense is now set up with a first and goal from the eight. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. So that huge gain quickly sets up a first and goal just inside the 10. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, tied. Boy, as a defensive coordinator, you've got to be careful being so worried about this pass game and this quarterback that you're a little bit soft up front and it costs you. It's exactly what happened here as they score this touchdown. Now the try here for the extra point. PAT puts him in front by seven. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Thomas. Tackled at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Downfield shot falls incomplete. Couldn't quite connect there. Well, the offense coordinator with the right call trying to take a shot there, but just poor execution. They couldn't come up with a big play. Let's see if the coach tries it again later, maybe in the second half. 
Second down play coming up for this offense. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. He's looking deep here. The pass is dropped. This would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. Everything about this play tells you about today's offenses and what they're asking out of their running backs. You can't just be a guy who runs the football anymore. You have to be able to catch it as well, and he didn't do a very good job of it on this play. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. And he dunks it off to the tight end. Defense able to stop him. It's fourth down now. The punt team making their way on the field. Looking to kick it away for the second time. With the return, it's Adams. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here over the defense? Come up with a stop. Breaks a tackle on the play and makes a decent game. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. The game makes it second and medium. The back's got it. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Okay, it's third down after that run. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. And he picks up the first down, tackled at the 32. Boy, Chris, you cannot overstate how big of a conversion this was to be able to pick this up on the ground. Yeah, the offense still has the lead, but you can just feel the defense having all the momentum with the points they've been able to compile. And that run right there picks up a first down and can kind of settle things down a bit. Change of pace, now looking to throw the football. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Here's the second down play. Ball handed to the running back. Not much on that play. Brought down short. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. And he'll drop back here on third down. Looking to scramble. Game moves the ball to the 21 and a fresh set of downs. This is why I love the quarterbacks that can make things happen. Here you have an opportunity to try to create. Nothing's there. Play breaks down. Instead of just throwing it away, he sits back, sees nothing downfield, decides to be able to pick up the first down by himself. Impressive run to pick up the first to keep his drive moving. Well, hand it off. They get him down, but that's a solid game. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. On the run, it's Miller. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. The quarterback hands this off and there's nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call. And they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. And the crowd coming to life here trying to help this defense down in the red zone. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. Receiver makes the catch. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Oh, I love it. Keep the kicker on the sideline. This offense knows when you're in the red zone, you got to come away with six. Great play to keep this drive moving. Alabama's offense now lining up on first and goal. 
There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. He stays alive. Caught near the goal line. He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. And this running back's going to show you he can be a receiver as well. He's just not back there running the football. Nice job of showing that versatility. Pulls it in and gets six. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. The gain is four, so it's second and six. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Second down play coming up. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. That run takes it across the 30-yard line. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third-down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards a pop like that. That's the two-minute warning. Let's see if this offense can do something before the break to cut into this big lead. Quarterback now all alone in the backfield. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. Grab down the middle. It's Anderson. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. They move the six. They'll hurry to the line here on first down now. Back to throw. It's Nussmeyer. Let's it fly out of the wide out. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Man, Chris, I don't know if that was a bad read by the quarterback or a bad route by the receiver. They got to get this cleaned up before the next time they go through the air. Offense getting set. It's second down. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. The freshman able to get home with the sack. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. They get to the line in a hurry here for this third down. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. And they heave it deep downfield. That's incomplete. They weren't afraid to let it fly, but... It brings up a fourth down. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long. But when you're so far behind the chains, boy, you really allow this defense to dictate things. And it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw on this play. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. And this one will be fair caught. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum in the defense. Make adjustments. Come up with a stop here. He's moving out of the pocket. Quarterback takes off now, looking to scramble. The offense will take their first time out of the half to talk strategy here. Well, I thought the defense had him here, Chris. He should be down in the backfield, but instead, he gets out of the pressure and actually picks up some positive yards. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. The timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. Well, that's the kind of play right there that this defense has been looking for. Maybe that'll spark them because, let's face it, 
This game has not gone the way they had hoped, but a play like that sometimes can create some momentum and change the complexion of the football game. Picks up about five yards, but it's not enough. Here comes a fourth down now. And the punt team makes its way onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. Bringing you back, it's Thomas. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. The guy's up front lined up. It's first down. Look at out throwing here to start the drive. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. The offense calls a timeout here. That's their third and final of the half. Second and long for this offense after the sack. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Heavy pressure, he lets it go. Just throws it away, but takes a big hit in the process. And I talk to defensive coordinators all over the country, and they're quick to point out the term affecting the quarterback. They, they, they kind of almost get offended when you want to talk to him about sacks. Sometimes it's just about getting into his face, affecting his vision. It's exactly what they did right here. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. And now the defense will call a timeout here. There's something they didn't like about that look, and they'll make an adjustment before this important play. They bring the punter onto the field now. And the returner will be brought down. First down here for this offense. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. They'll bring him down right at the 30-yard line. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards there on first and 10. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have to find this one, thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Fields it just outside the goal line. It'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. First play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Boy, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. They got some ground to make up, second and long from the 15. Scanning the field, it's Nussmeyer. Pressure and drop back at the eight yard line. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. Third down, the offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Daniels. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. Chris, give him some credit here. He's fighting to get to that first down, breaks the tackle, just comes up a little bit short of the first down. And here comes the punter onto the field. On the kick now for the fifth time today. Oh, and he's got some space here. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. The 
to start the drive with a quick throw to the right. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Second down after that run on the previous play. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Fires into the wide out. Passes caught right near the sideline. What a catch does get the foot down. A nice throw and a great catch by another Alabama wide receivers. And that's really where we are. Anymore with Alabama, you just come to expect great receivers like this. You think back in recent years to Amari Cooper and Jerry Judy, Jalen Waddell, Devontae Smith. The list goes on and on. Boy, they've got some great looking receivers on this squad. Makes the grab. It's Miller. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. A running back who can take a check down like that and turn it into a game can be a quarterback's best friend. And it's easy way to rack up those touches and get the ball to your playmaker in the open field. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. Coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. And now it's fumbled. What a decision. They scoop up the ball. It's still a live play here. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks, when they decide to pull the ball down and run, they've got to protect it. He left it out away from his body exposed, and it got knocked away. He's very fortunate he had a teammate who was able to get on top of it. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. He's got it, looking for the end zone. Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. you got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. The tied offense line up here on first and goal. Making people miss. And he powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. This is an ominous sign for LSU. The Crimson Tide beginning to really roll now, Kirk, and pull away here. Chris, we thought this would be a highly contested game with both these teams typically at the top of the SEC standings, but give Alabama a lot of credit. Everything going their way today. And now the try here for the extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Bringing it out, it's Williams. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. It's a quarterback keeper. Nowhere to go. The ball knocked loose. The defense recovers the fumble. How about this defense flying in there trying to get their hat on a the ball? They do, and they're able to pounce on it for a big turnover. The offense gifted with great starting field position for this drive. Back to throw. It's Milrow. 
Makes the grab, a chance to score. Brought down at the seven, but the completion moves him into scoring position. Boy, he has such great size. I just love this play call on first and 10. The defense is expecting a run. Instead, you go play action and you throw it to the big man for some positive yards on first and 10. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Pass caught, can he get in? Touchdown, Bama. And the route is on. Well, the energy really building now, Kirk. Then I care for this could get ugly. Chris, this offense has been impressive the entire game. And one of the great things about rivalry games is you'll never forget this kind of performance. And they'll set up for the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Now they get set to kick it away. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. The fumble the last time out symbolizing their struggles here today. That's why they're in a big hole. Ball handed off. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. That's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. The game makes it second and medium. Grab behind the line, it's Daniels. Breaking free at the 35. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. The offense is clicking, and the defense just searching for answers now. And they'll give it to the back. They pick up four, so second down and six coming up. behind the line. It's Taylor. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. So much pressure on the defense against the RPO because you're always going to be wrong if it's executed correctly. Here, they were determined to stop the run. The problem is you leave yourself vulnerable to a throw into a flat. Right flat's open. The quarterback makes the right throw. And look at these yards. Grab behind the line. He hits Lacey. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Well, anytime an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit and swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. So now from the 29, it's third down and short. Let's see what the play call is going to be here. Already in field goal range, but of course, thinking touchdown. It's a quick grab. Game moves the ball to the 21 and a fresh set of downs. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. LSU getting set with a first and 10 now. They'll run it from the gun. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't 
like why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take a lead in this game at some point. To throw, it's Nussmeyer. The pocket breaking down. Gets the ball up as he's hit, but it's incomplete. Boy, the defense rolls the dice here on this screen pass. If they don't hit this quarterback, this is a big play. But give them credit. They were able to get to him before they were able to complete that pass. Ninth play of the drive coming up. This is a tough third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Makes the grab. It's Anderson. They make the stop just short of the mark where it's getting fourth down and inches. Coach is going to take the three points. Here comes the field goal unit. And it's good right down the middle. Chris, they get the three points, but looking back at it, fourth and inches. Pretty conservative call there. I really thought they would have gone for it. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. They were up double digits at halftime, and they're just continuing to roll, building in the lead here in the second half. And the ball to the ground. Defense recovers the fumble. Big takeaway. This offense just blew an opportunity to have a nice lead here in the second half with the football. The last thing you want to do is turn it over and they put the ball on the ground and now give your opponent a chance to get right back in this game. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? And now the handoff. And the defense smothers him for no gain. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Getting set. Here's second down. Back to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Here's a screen pass to the running back. Defense flies in. They make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. The offensive line does everything they can to try to protect the quarterback, to give him enough time to find an open receiver. But there's nobody there downfield. He ends it up throwing it to the back. But how about the speed of this defense? Now you're looking at a third down. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Looking to set up a screen pass here. Zero running room. Stop right at the line of scrimmage. Well, these screen passes are all about timing. I really felt the offense looked like they tipped their hand. The defense started to kind of drift that way towards the screen. And by the time the running back catches the ball, there's just nowhere to go. So now on comes the field goal unit. This will be about a 53-yard attempt. Let's see if he can get it there. And that one is no good. And that sums up the game so far. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least, three points, but instead, he shanks it. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. A premium here on ball security. The last drive, of course, ended in a fumble. Now begin with a quick throw to the left. That gain enough for a fresh set of downs. Spotted at the 48. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. 
He's brought down, but a solid game moves the ball across midfield to the 41. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Backs lined up on either side of the quarterback. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Miller. And the tackle is made as time runs out in the third quarter. And as we wrap up the third quarter, let's check out the quarterback comparison. This has been a terrific duel. Both guys putting on a show so far today. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. Looking for some space. It's Haynes. And they finally stop him, but a decent game that time. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. Can they convert on third down to keep this drive rolling? Can't hold on. Good defensive play brings up a fourth down. How about the call here? They call it the screen on third down and short. You don't see that call very often. They're not able to even complete the pass, so no chance at a conversion. So we got fourth and short. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. And he's got it from 49 yards out. What a powerful kick. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. Set for the kickoff here after adding to this big lead. Fielded in the end zone. It's Thomas. Tackled at the 13. Not great field position to start the drive. And here comes that LSU offense back on the field. First play of the drive to come out throwing. Oh, it's dropped off the tip by the defense there. It's going to bring up second down. Chris, it's funny. I think this quarterback underestimated the athletic ability of this linebacker. He sees zone right away. He's thinking he's got some underneath windows and opportunities to get the ball to his skill guys. But this linebacker steps in front of him, makes a heck of a play. Looking to throw. It's Nussmeyer. Quick throw to the left side. That's a dangerous throw. It falls incomplete, but this defense almost had a second interception today. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands, sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. On third down, he drops to throw. It's nearly picked off. He couldn't hold on to it. Don't expect that from such a reliable defender. Brings up fourth down, though. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk. With that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. And in fourth down, they'll punt it away here. Return or tackle right there. That's what will start the drive. So here comes the Alabama offense back out of the field. This has been a dominant performance so far. Up double digits at the break, building on the lead here in the second half. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Well, let's see how these guys do here. It could have been that four-minute offense mode where they're trying to work as much clock as they can on this drive, working with the lead. Still want to be balanced as best you can, but the important thing is picking up first downs, keeping the ball in bounds, and keep working that clock. They'll run it here. The running back has the ball. He's wrapped up nicely there by the freshman. Now it's third and long for this offense, but ball right at midfield. 
Drop him back. He's going to throw for the first down. And here comes a deep shot. Deep shot caught inside the 25. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Chris, I'm kind of surprised they're still taking shots downfield. They got a big lead. We're in the fourth quarter. Run the ball. Get out of Dodge. Keep everybody healthy. Alabama getting set with a first and ten now. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Back to pass. It's Milrow. And it's caught on the crossing pattern. He moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. Boy, this defense cannot find any way to slow this guy down. He's been making plays like this all game long, over 100 yards receiving on the day now. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. That's a second and goal play for the offense. And the quarterback keeps it here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. That's just exactly how you coach it from a defensive standpoint. You string the quarterback out to the outside, make him indecisive. By the time he makes a decision, the rest of the defense is coming in. Nice tackle for a loss. We'll see what the offense dials up here on third and goal. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Trying to create outside the pocket now. Touchdown, tied. Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. That's another touchdown for these guys. Man, they have had a day that you dream about. Whether it's the quarterback, the running back, the receivers, the offensive line, the entire unit has been dominant. See if they can convert the point after. PAT is good as they build on this big lead. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He'll take the return and try to get some better field position. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Pressure is coming. Oh, and the sack is made there by the freshman. Chris, I'm really surprised by the way this game has turned out. That's another sack by this defense. They've done such a great job of preparing a plan to get ready for one of the top quarterbacks in the country. They've kept him out of sync, applied pressure, and a big part of the reason they're enjoying this lead right now. Tough spot here, second and long from their own 13. Looking to pass, it's Nussmeyer. Makes a quick grab. And heads out of bounds after a decent game. The key here, Chris, is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch or a slight hesitation, and that's an incompletion or an interception. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Oh, and he can't hang on to it. That's a guy known for his hands. Couldn't pick it off. Brings up fourth down. This is smart defense. When you're trying to protect the lead late in the game, you know they're going to take some shots. Get those safeties and those defensive backs back far, anticipating a deep throw, and knock the ball away. They don't make the third down yardage. Here comes the punt team. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. Turner brought down. Sets up the next drive. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. This group has been rolling up double digits at halftime. They've just built on that lead here in the second half. Picks up now. 
Second down after that run on the previous play. On the run, it's Miller. Looks like Alabama will have the first down. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. From the shotgun, handoff inside. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Again, makes it second and medium. Here's the handoff. He stopped, but he gets a first down. And that's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. And don't forget, good blocking up front by the big fellas. And this running back, he just seems to have a nose for that first down marker. A few more runs like this, and he's going to be getting into a rhythm for sure. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. Right down after picking up five yards, so second and five. Looking to pass, it's Milrow. Quick throw complete to the tight end. Nowhere to run. They'll corral him for no gain. When the defense had everything covered downfield, the quarterback tries to check it down, but how about the defensive speed to be able to sniff that out? So now it's third and short from the plus 25. They're in field goal range, but let's see what the call is. They're thinking about touchdown, of course. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. And the junior decides to pick up the first down himself. Boy, this guy can do it all. We know what he can do with his arm, but when things aren't there, does a good job of pulling it down, knowing where the first down marker is, picking up the first down. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Receiver makes the grab. Tackled at the two after the completion. The defense really up against it now. You see more and more offenses in college football going to three receivers, and the slot receiver a lot of times can become the go-to guy. He gets mismatches against either safeties, a nickelback or a linebacker walked out, and you can take advantage of it. And it's a draw play. Picks up a game here. They'll stop him just a few inches short of the first down marker. Positive yards, that's all you want to see as an offense. As long as you're moving the ball forward, it's going to give you a chance to continue to get first downs. What are they looking at now? Third and in inches, it looks like. So here we go, third down. Defense needs to stop here, try to force a field goal attempt. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. Touchdown, Alabama. To stretch the lead, the route is on. Chris, you talk about having a day. This offense just goes out. They don't, they're not even looking at the scoreboard. They're just going out, executing the play call, and continuing to put points on the board. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Getting set to kick the ball off now. He'll return it from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. Last time was a quick 
three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? It's an out route. The catch made. And he's out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Anytime a quarterback and a receiver are in sync, you've got a chance to make a very successful play. Great job here by the offense. Pass caught. Second down now. Looking downfield, it's Nussmeyer. The tight end has got it. They bring him down to the 38, but that's good enough for a first down. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. Looks to his left and makes the completion. The tackle, but first down. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw again. The sure hands gets Anderson. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving his defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. And that's the two-minute warning here. This offense desperate to cut into this lead and then try to get the football back. Offense getting set. Second down play here. There's the snap, looking to throw the ball. Catch made across the middle by the running back. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Boy, it's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Here's the snap, looking to throw here. Caught on the outside, it's Daniels. And he'll run out of bounds after picking up a few yards on the play. Chris, now that we're in the final couple minutes of this game, it's a good time to just kind of step back and appreciate the job this defense has done throughout the entire game. They've applied pressure, they've been physical with the line of scrimmage, good job in space, and a big part of the reason that they have such a big lead today. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, LSU. You know the most impressive thing to me, Chris? I mean, they're not going to win this football game. I love that they're still fighting. Man, I think that tells you a lot about this team, the character, the culture, the way they're coached. It's not their day, but I'm just impressed that they're still battling out there. Kicking team out for the PAT drive. And it's up and good. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And it's field and Berturner trying to create good field position here. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. This has been a tremendous performance by this team. Now just the finishing touches. Run out the clock and let the party begin. Did well to avoid a loss there, but it's no gain on the play. Boy, the options dried up quickly for the quarterback here. Very, very fortunate he was somehow able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second down after that previous play. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. The shotgun running play call. 
And a short run there to end the game. 